Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ron again from Wapinas.com, and today we just attended the press conference of Dito Telecommunity, and they have announced that they are already available in NCR and a couple of other areas in South and North Luzon. And one of the topics there was SIM compatibility of the Dito SIM in different phones. Primarily, the Dito service is a 4G, 5G, right? So we brought out all the phones that are working right now and we're gonna test them all by one by one using a Ditto SIM we have the Huawei Matepad Pro, a Huawei tablet I forgot what, mo what model it is I'll put all the models of the phones and the, the gadgets in the description we have the Poco Phone X3, Leogo, an iPhone I think 10 Huawei P9, Everni Mix 2 uh, Doogie, Taki Redmi, Xiaomi, and a Samsung. So we're gonna do speed tests in selected phones, the phones that have speed tests already installed in it. This is still the Samsung A02S. As you can see, it's 4G according to the signal there on top. And we're getting roughly about four down and four up. Earlier we tested, we got eight up and down, okay? So we're gonna transfer the SIM of the little SIM to the rest of the units here. And we're gonna see if we're gonna get full bar signal and if we're gonna have internet. And now we have the SIM card, and as you can see, it's saying 4G Dito. We're gonna open the browser now and go to the website of Wapinas. Our website is the one that's actually slow to load, okay? We're gonna wait for it. And as you can see, it's working. We're gonna try, I'm gonna check if we have a speed test on the MatePad Pro. So, MatePad Pro speed test. It works, it's still also in the 4 to 5 Mbps for the download and the upload is almost the same again with the same test that we had with the Samsung A02S. A little bit higher on both. So we have the same in the Pocophone X3 NFC, we had some problems. The APN did not automatically set up, so we had to manually set it up. Um, we're going to include the screenshots of the APNs later so that you can see. As you can see there in the top, it says 4G. Okay. And then we're going to try to connect to a website right now. And as you can see, it's opening. It's my website that's slow, it's not the internet. So hi guys, once again, we're using the Leago, I uh, forgot which model this is, and as you can see on the top there it says 4G, um, I had to manually um, input the APN again, and as you can see we are connected to the internet now, let's just wait a little while. Okay. So hi guys, we're testing it on an iPhone 10 this time. As you can see, it's full bar signal. It says LTE, and the website is actually working. But it says little slow. That means I need to upgrade my website. See? Okay. So on to the next one. Hi guys, so we're testing this the Taki, okay, my son's phone. As you can see, um, the other, the first SIM card there is there's no signal, okay. But so we're testing it now at the Verni Mix Two, and as you can see, it says 4G. That's the SIM one, okay. For the Verni Mix Two, there's only one SIM that works at LTE. I'll test the internet and go to YouTube right now. Okay. 
And as you can see, it opened my website which I was trying to open earlier. So it works, okay? Oh, and with the Vernimix 2, you have to input the APN uh, so that the signal will come out and all the stuff and in the internet will also work. Okay, so on to the next one. So hi guys, we're testing it now with the Doogie, as you can see, um, wait, the, the antenna bar or the signal bar isn't that full, it's probably 3 fourths. The internet is working, as you can see, I'm able to open Google and search for my website. And there it is, it opens, but uh, this website is actually slow. So it works with the Doogie. But again, I had to manually input the um, APN. So make sure you have a copy of the APN somewhere or you have it memorized if you're changing phones so that you can easily set it up. You okay, see, it works. So hi guys, as you can see here, we have the Xiaomi Redmi Redmi 9. And wait, it's not opening. Okay, as you can see in the top, the battery is full bar. Okay, and it says 4G. Okay, and as you can see, YouTube is open and able to play, although it's a bit slow. Okay, because the area in my area is not that fast yet. Okay, so it seems to work with. All the phones we've tested, well, fortunately, everything that we've tested are are 4G phones. The only problem that we had was with the Taki here. Okay, this is a 3G phone, but all the 4G phones that we tested actually worked once we were able to input the APN. So remember, guys, have a copy of the APN, and you should have no problem as long as the phone that you're using is 4G. Okay, we'll test, we'll do another test with the other phones that we have, but this has already been a bit long. So thanks guys for watching. Let us know any comments and suggestions that you have in the comments box. Thanks guys. Bye.